Brian Tong here with CNET.com at WWDC 2010. And here I have two of my new friends. This is the first look at the iPhone 4. We got it in black. We got it in white. Let's just check out some of the killer features of this guy. If you look really closely, we have the front-facing camera. This is what it was all about, FaceTime. The first phone fully integrated with a seamless video chat. What makes it great, it does work over Wi-Fi only right now in 2010. They're going to work with the carriers to make that happen in the future, hopefully over 3G. We'll probably see it over 4G networks. But what you also have here is the ability to use the camera on the back side so that they can see what you're seeing. And this phone here was all about the camera. It's a 5 megapixel still camera with an LED flash. It also takes HD video at 720p, 30 frames per second. And then when you add all that together, you have the ability to get their application, iMovie for the iPhone, instantly enables you to edit video with themes, transitions, take picture assets, music assets, as well as transitions, and make a polished video all on this little device. Now we also know it's a really slim form factor. This is 9.3 millimeters, the slimmest smartphone to date. And some unique features here is its stainless steel frame. Now this frame, what makes a difference is that they've actually built technology into it that allows to serve as the antenna. So not only is it the structure for the phone, but you can get signals to your 3G, your Bluetooth, and your Wi-Fi. This is the antenna. Now another feature you guys may not really be able to see is its retina display. So if you compare it to the original iPhone or the iPhone 3GS, the pixels on here are four times the amount in a one inch square. You'll get super sharp images and text here, look super clean, but this is one of those things that you really just have to hold in your hand, hold it up next to another iPhone and see to believe. One thing you really didn't expect to see and it wasn't on this iPhone is 4G compatibility. This is still a 3G phone that will be operating on AT&T's network. And for all you AT&T current iPhone users, if your contract expires in 2010, you have the ability to upgrade to this phone without paying any early termination fees. So here's the breakdown. These come in black and white, cool, sexy colors. The 16 gig models are 199. The 32 gig models are 299. They'll be available in five countries, US included on June 24th, and then worldwide sometime in September. So there you have it, a first look at the new iPhone 4. I'm Brian Tong, CNET.com.